What is up YouTube and fellow Pokemon fans? Welcome to another opening. I have 25 packs of Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. Now I call them Dollar Tree Pokemon packs because the only place I've ever seen these is at Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started with them. There is only one thing that I am after out of these packs and that is a uh, Mega Charizard EX. However, I don't have any expectations for what I get. I hope I get at least one single Ultra Rare because, come on, that's just the odds. But again, I don't expect anything. First pack is a dud. <laughs> <clears throat> I have opened a couple of these packs in the past. Oh, awesome. We got a Hollow Rare out of the second pack. A nice little floor just right there. And I've gotten quite a few packs that had absolutely nothing in there, but commons and uncommons. But I did also get a single pack that had a rare Argatuno in there. But I figure if we have 25 packs, chances are we're going to get something good. A reverse holo rare. So I guess we're actually off to a pretty darn good start here with a holo rare and a reverse holo rare. Let's see, what is it, pack number three or four already? All right. Commons and uncommons. Again, I don't have any expectations going into this. Whatever we get will be kind of fine. Kind of happy so far with what we got. All right. And these little cards that come in here are not code cards. I think they're just in there to help weigh down the packs for like... If there is a sh uh, like a holographic card in there, I think there's these. Blah, blah, blah. I know how to speak. I think there's just different types of these to help weigh down the packs, so you can't just come in, weigh them for all the good packs, and leave all the crappy ones behind. So yeah, not actually code cards. A uh, reverse common Caterpie. So awesome. Next. Again, I hope we at least get one ultra rare, but ooh, a non hollow rare. Heck yeah. I hope we get at least one ultra rare here, but I ain't gonna hold my breath. And these are found at Dollar Tree. If you can get lucky, your Dollar Tree might actually have them. If not, I hear that they are pretty difficult to come across because people will go in there and scoop them up right away. However, I'm lucky enough to be at a play. Oh, another reverse common and a Lissandra. Awesome. I'm lucky enough to be at a place that has actually a few different types of these. They had Flash Fire and they had the regular XY base set. And then I think they had Furious. Fi oh, hell yes! A full art Magnezone EX. That is just. That's awesome. That really definitely helps making this right here <laughs> I was not expecting to get a full art so that is very amazing very awesome freaking awesome yes super psyched right now <laughs> but I'm lucky enough to have a uh, Dollar Tree that had three different types of packs and I just went with this one because it has Mega Charizard and I believe that's still a very high value card so that's why I got these a reverse hollow rare again awesome so I'm actually getting pretty lucky with these packs I was not expecting to get this much goodness out of them okay come on come on now let's see if we can get a second yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and be a little uh a little greedy here and hope we can still oh that one was open hmm interesting I'm going to be a little greedy here and hope we can still get like another EX, if not a uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard. Let's get greedy here. <laughs> Alright, Musual Centrit Merectus. Fletchling, another reverse uncommon this time. are fairly easy to open. Phoebus, Pidgey, Fletchinery. I should try 
keep one pack in pristine condition, but... Oh, there we go. Non-hollow rare. Pretty awesome. Uh, Sacred Ash. Shovel 5 Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Definitely... The odds are definitely better than I thought they would be. I really expected most of these packs to have absolutely nothing. Reverse common. Getting down to the last few packs here. I think one, two, three, four, last five packs. Come on, Ultra. Ultra Ball, there we go. Nice little card right there. Discard two cards from your hand. If you cannot discard two cards, you can't play this card. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Great way to get you exactly what you need if you have a bunch of cards that you don't currently need in your hand. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. I can feel it. This, this pack's being difficult because it has a really good card in it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Here it comes. Bam! It lied to me. <laughs> Nothing out of that pack. Alright. Three packs left. Right here is a third one. Let's see. Is that a... No, it's not reverse. Two packs left. Can we hit one more goodie? One more little goodie. Come on. Give me an ultra. Give me an ultra. I will take it. It is a holographic Drudagon. Rare card. So, heck yeah. Last pack of Destiny right here. What are we going to get? We're going to get something amazing. I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's going to be something amazing. You ready? You ready? You ready? Reverse Holo Rare. There we go. Can't complain about that. So let's see. Out of 25 packs... I'm going to go ahead and grab these up real quick. All right. Out of 25 of these single $1 packs, we got one, two, three, four Reverse Holo Common and Uncommons. We got two non-hollow rares, and then we also got one, two, three reverse hollow rares, one, two holographic rares, and then a full art EX. So overall, these packs kind of seem worth it in my eyes. So perhaps you will go to your local Dollar Tree and check them out now and see if they got any packs and see if you get lucky. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon.